We had people ask us things like, can I microwave my mask to kill the viruses? Can I boil it? Uh, can I wash it in alcohol? I'm here at Beijing Based Smart Air. They are a social enterprise that make air filters and for many years they've been studying the efficacy of different types of masks. And I'm here today to try and answer the question of what types of masks, what types of materials are most effective if you're at home and trying to make a mask yourself. On the table we've got about 10 materials but in total we've tested around 30 different DIY mask materials and, and we've, we've ended up with a long list of materials with things like bra cups. Someone has asked us to test bra cups. <laughs> okay. uh, we've had coffee filters, bed sheets, this is a scarf here, here's some blue shop towels. So tell me how this works, how does the technology behind how this work? So essentially what we've got is we've got a, a wind tunnel here uh, and, and some fans. So these two fans, we have a series of fans so that we can have enough pressure to mimic kind of the strength of our lungs blowing air through, through a material. Let's take a bandana and let's, let's uh, experiment with that. So we're, we'll, we'll put the bandana on the end of the, the, the wind tunnel and we'll, we'll fix it in place like this. And we'll use this machine, which is a MET-1, particle counter so this is able to measure really really tiny particles and then after turning on the fans we'll measure the number of particles that are able to pass through this material so we can get a comparison of the number of particles without the material and then with the material and that will give us an indication of how well this material can actually filter out viruses and so what were your conclusions for the best products in terms of COVID-19 specifically? Mm. We found the best materials for filtering out things like COVID-19 virus sized particles were actually things like uh, coffee filters and then some thick canvas. But the thing with a coffee filter is it's really difficult to breathe through. Uh, if you put it up to your face, it's almost impossible to breathe through that coffee filter. So we need to find a, a kind of a balance. And, and we found that things like this blue shop towel, this kind of light, fairly light canvas material, uh, as well as some paper towel material, this denim was good. And so what percent of the particulates were they actually filtering out? Still uh, no, nowhere near what we would expect from uh, a surgical mask or an N95 mask. We have a, a, a range of scars. These masks all did the worst. So they were, they were the worst at filtering out the tiny particles. The they, they still captured something, but it was less than 10%. Wow. So this, this surgical mask was able to capture about 70% of the tiny particles, and N95 can capture 95%. But most of the materials that we recommend were only capturing around 30%. And essentially what you can do is you can take a couple of materials, and if you have a light at home or, or a window, you can hold them up to the window. You can see which one has the most light. So I see some light passing through. So you can, can you see through this one? You've got, yeah, you, it's lot. much clearer. Right. You can really see almost so through that this. It's better? So this is worse this at is capturing. Worse because more it's, is passing. Exactly, it's looser. So uh, that's a great way at home to kind of compare the so materials. So you want something that's tighter, but you can still breathe. Through, exactly. So at the beginning of the pandemic, I only had a few masks and I was trying to figure out how I can wash them or if I can spray disinfectant on them. So at a time when people don't have a lot of masks, how should they care for them? The most reliable way uh, to disinfect your mask is actually just to leave it for 48 hours or more because that's generally how long the coronavirus will survive on surfaces. Uh, it, will, it will generally die after 48 hours.